Welcome to the R video tutorial on inferences on proportions. In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to do hypotheses tests on a single proportion and a difference in two proportions. All right, so we're going to look at the prop.test function. Here, the first argument, x, is the number of successes that you have in your data set, and n is the size of your data set. P is the value that you wish to test against. So you have a hypothesis test. This would be the value that's in your H naught or your null hypothesis. All right. So let's see what happens when we run this. All right. So while it does produce a confidence interval, we're more interested in the P value that's associated with our test. So here you can see the P value associated with our test. It's 0 0.077. Now, whether this is significant or not depends on your significance level that you chose for your test. But this is where you would go and look for the value for that. Notice above this, it says the null probability of 0 0.3. So that's the null hypothesis. And notice right below it, it says true P is not equal to 0.03. So this is a two-sided test. One thing we may want to do is a one-sided test. So what I have over here, here we've changed our hypothesized value to 0.5 in this. Now, this again will be a two-sided test. And right below that, we've changed the hypothesis to be greater than. And notice that it says alternative equals to, in quotations, greater. And that means test greater than the value that we've specified. All right, so let's run this and see what happens. All right, so if we look over here, you can see the p-value associated with our test. Now, for the first one, which is not equals to, if you look right below it, it says true p not equal to 0.5, you get a p-value of 0 0.1759. But when we come down here and look at the next one, where we specifically said greater than, and notice it says true P is greater than 0.5, we get a p-value that is 0 0.087. So this gives us the ability to do a two-sided test, a greater than test, or a less than test. And notice it gives you a sample estimate on your sample proportion as well. Okay, another thing we might be interested in is the difference in two proportions. We can use prop.test for this as well. Now, if I come over here and look at my next line that I have here, you can see I have prop.test. And then here on the inside, I have x equals. I have c, which means a column. It's going to be two values. So I have 553 and 533. And, and for the n, I have c, which is a column, 1. 1,055 and 1,098. Now, what these correspond to, the X is the number of successes in your samples, and N is the sample sizes. So 553 corresponds to the number of successes in your first sample from population 1. Okay, N of 1,055 is the number of samples that you took from population 1. The 533 is the number number of successes in the sample that you took from population 2, and n equals to 1098 is the number of samples that you took from population 2. And notice here the alternative is greater. So this is not a two-sided test the way this is set up. So we're going to test that this is greater than, one is greater than the other, or that the difference is positive. I run this. All right, so you can see here, I get a p-value again. Here, my p-value is 0 0.039. Now again, whether that's significant or not depends on the significance level that you chose prior to conducting your experiment. And below, it gives you the two sample proportions. And notice it gives you a 95% confidence interval on the difference. Okay, and only on the difference. All right, so that's going to give greater than. And notice it says the alternative hypothesis greater. Right there is where it says greater. Okay, we can go over here and run the second one and go 
to less than. All right, so this now has produced our output. And again, we can look at the p-value associated with our test. And we're specifically interested in less than in this case. And our p-value is 0 0.9603. Now, whether that's significant or not depends on the significance level that you chose, but most people would probably consider that insignificant. And notice that our alternative hypothesis is less. All right, so this shows you how to do inferences on proportions and specifically tests on proportions and differences in proportions. If you have any questions, please ask or watch the next video.